you want to build a conversion-focused website for your online business, the one thing every blog post, homepage, or landing page must have is a call to action. That's why we built so many call to action templates for you inside Thrive Architect. And in this video, I'm first gonna show you the difference between Thrive Architect's two most powerful call to action template types. And then I'm gonna show you when, where, and how to use them to make conversion focused content faster, easier, and more fun too. Plus, I'm going to throw in a couple of hot tips on how you can use Thrive Leads or Thrive Apprentice with these templates to grow your email list. Sound good? Here we go. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes, and let's get started. I want to talk about the two different types of call to action templates inside Thrive Architect. Now, the first is part of our page blocks feature, and you can find page blocks within our smart landing page templates. If you navigate to the Thrive Architect landing page library, you'll notice that we have a range of templates available, but look for the smart landing page options at the top versus the legacy landing page options down below. And then if you look for this three box icon, they, these templates are page block ready. That's what you're looking for when we're discussing the page block templates in this video. So I've loaded up the consultation smart blank page to show you a few of these page block templates. If you click on the page block icon, you'll notice that the page block library opens up. And if you filter for call to action templates, we have different page block templates specific to different smart landing page designs. So these are the call to action templates available within the consultation smart landing page set. So all you have to do is pick one, click on it, and it will load on your page. Now here's what's truly powerful about page blocks. In just one click, you can come into your central style ed editor and then completely change the color pa palette by picking one you like and selecting it. You'll notice that your entire page block template automatically updates in one click. So that brings me to the next type of call to action template available in Thrive Architect, and that is the call to action element. So I have a blank post loaded here, and if we navigate to the element options and search for the call to action element, we can drag and drop that onto the page, and then the call to action element template library will load. From there, we can scroll through the different templates offered and select one that we like. The big thing to notice here is that the call to action element does not automatically adopt the font type and color scheme of the page like the page block templates do. However, the call to action elements are super easy to modify. We can go to the main options tab and then just pick the branding color we have for our page or blog post, and then in one click, it automatically updates. Also, if you want the template to adopt the font type of your post or page, you just have to go to the typography tab and then change the font option to inherit. With that, you can see that the call to action template automatically updates. Now, although the call to action elements don't automatically adopt colors and font types like the page blocks do, they are much more flexible in terms of where you can use them on your website. So with call to action elements, you can use them on blog posts, smart landing page templates, and legacy landing page templates too. Now that you know the difference between our page block call to action templates and our call to action element templates, Let's see how you can use them in a few use cases on your website. So our first example is a coaching website, and I've loaded up the consultation smart homepage template. And as you can see, the design already has a call to action at the top, as well as a call to action at the very bottom. And for a coach, probably your main call to action is you wanna get new clients and you do that through booking free consultation calls. So let's say you want to add an additional call to action somewhere in the middle of the page. If you're using a page block ready smart landing page, it's really simple to do with page blocks. Just scroll up to where you wanna add it to the page and 
at the, either the top or the bottom of a background section, you can click on this page block button and then filter for the call to action templates available there. And since we have fancy call to actions at the top and bottom, let's just choose this simpler one. And since that's going in the middle of the page and automatically that page block adopts the colors and text type of the overall page. So this is how easy it is to update page blocks in the fewest number of clicks. Of course, you can inline edit the text to say something like book your free consultation call now. And then you can change the button text easily to say book now or something like that. And then if you're a coach, here's a really cool trick you can do to make automatic scheduling with you even easier using Thrive Leads too. So we're gonna set this button up to open a Thrive Leads light box. In that light box is going to be your Calendly automatic scheduling tool. Now I already have that light box set up, so I'll just delete this link, click on the pop-up, choose the Thrive Box option, and then search for my Calendly Thrive Leads light box, apply it, save the page, and now when I preview it, so when the page loads, I can scroll down, find the button, and let's say I'm an, a potential new client of yours. When I click this button, and we'll just find a day in May here, my calendar is already showing. So a client can click on a day that works for them, and with no email back and forth, they can schedule, you get that consultation call, and hopefully a new client in your business. If you wanna learn more about how to integrate Calendly with Thrive Leads, there's a blog post all about it, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Okay, let's move on to example two. Here, I'm going to show you how to use a call to action element on a legacy Thrive Architect landing page. So this is the Fit Brand homepage template. And of course, there are call to actions already available in the, the design, say at the, at the top in the above the fold area. But let's say you wanna add another call to action somewhere in the middle, uh, let's say below your benefit highlights section. It's very easy to do with the call to action templates. So we just find that call to action element, drag and drop it under these columns. And then when the template library loads, we can scroll through and find one that fits our business or niche. And since this is a fitness website, I'll select this free book your yoga class version. And again, call to action elements don't automatically adopt the colors or font type of the page they're on, but we can change that and modify it very quickly. So we just make sure we have the call to action element selected. Then we can one click change the color to the landing pages template colors. And you see that automatically updates the template from the buttons to the background overlay. You can quickly change the text to reflect your opt-in offer. You can change the button text as well. And once again, I'm gonna connect this button with the Thrive Leads light box that I already have prepared. So I'll just highlight the button element and then I'll scroll down to the action tab, delete this link and under pop-ups, I'll add a Thrive box and I've got my particular Thrive box is called my, a nutrition something or other. Select that, apply it, save. And then when we preview the landing page, we'll scroll down and find our call to action template we've modified. And when I click on the button, look at that. I have a light box appear with the look and feel of my landing page. I guarantee you this is going to help boost your email list. Okay, let's move on to our final example how to use a call to action element template on a blog post. Now you can see here, I have a demo blog post already created, and this is using a Thrive Theme Builder custom post template. If you're interested to learn more about how to set this up for yourself, check out the link in the description box below on a video I did all about that. But for now, let's scroll down 
Let's say we want to add a call to action somewhere in the middle of the blog post. We don't want it at the top because that can lead to banner blindness from visitors. And maybe we don't want it at the bottom because not all of our visitors make it that far in the post. But somewhere in the middle might be a good idea. So let's say here above the subheading, again, we'll search for the call to action element, drop it onto the page, and then we'll scroll down to look for an appropriate template. Now I wanna send people to sign up for my free online course. So this start your 14 day trial call to action template looks pretty good. Now we just have to change the color to match the blog post look and feel. And let's say the, the text as well. So let's just click on the call to action element in the breadcrumbs. We'll change the color to our orange that we saw the featured image overlay using. And then again, to change the typography to inherit the blog post font type, we just have to come into font and then click on inherit, apply that, and automatically that template will change its font type to match the blog post. The last thing we need to do is link the button to our online course registration page. To do that, I'll click on the button. Again, scroll down to the action tab, and but this time I'm going to use this link option to paste the registration link, and I'll make mark it open as in a new tab, apply it, save it, and when I preview this page, scroll down to the call to action we've created and click on the get started button. Boom, sends me to my Thrive Apprentice online course, asking people to register their free account and then log in for instant access. That is another great way to grow your email list. And look, with Thrive Apprentice, I can even match the colors to the look and feel of the blog post my readers just came from. So that's a quick look at our call to action templates inside Thrive Architect. Whether you're using page blocks for your smart landing pages or call to action elements for your blog posts, it really takes just a couple of clicks to get those templates ready to publish. And don't forget to use Thrive Leads or Thrive Apprentice with these templates to help grow your email list too. If you have any questions or thoughts about what you've seen in this video, make sure to leave them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.